So in this video, we will be showing you how to install iPhone and iPad apps on your Apple Silicon M1 based Mac. So first go to the imazing.com website and then download the imazing app to your Mac and then open the downloaded file from the downloads folder by clicking on it. Once you open the folder, the app will be installed in your Mac and you will be asked to move the app icon to the applications folder after which you can access the app from the launch pad on your Mac. Once you launch the app, Make sure you connect your iPhone to your Mac with the charging cable and then expand from the left menu to open the options and then select apps from here. Once you select on apps, after the page finishes loading, just wait for the page to load and then go ahead and click on manage apps in the bottom corner to proceed. From here, you'll be asked to enter your Apple ID password and email id once you have entered that you will then be taken to the manage apps page from here switch to the library tab in the top after you switch to the tab you can now see all the apps that you have installed on your iphone and the ones that are available for download to your mac so scroll through the list and find which app you want to download and then click on the download icon in the next to the name of the app once the app has finished download, right click on it and then select the export.ip option and then select a folder to export the IPA file to your Mac and click on save. After this, go back to the folder where you have exported the app and then open it. Op double click on the IPA file of the app to launch it and the app will then be installed on your Mac and will be moved to the applications folder. You can directly open the app from the applications folder or go to the launch pad and then launch the app from there. The app will now be launched on the Mac and will be running just like it in your iOS and iPadOS devices. You can install any app that is available in the list by exporting the IPA file by following the similar process and then launching the app from the launch pad and use it on a Mac. This is how you, you can use the iPhone and iPad apps on your Apple Silicon M1 based Macs.